We're going to teach our dogs to roll on their side. Good! Yes! So stay tuned! Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage He's a goofy old Dexter the dog He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog The baddest pup that there ever was Seat stealing all day long Howling like a junkyard dog Once your dog has a good rollover behavior, the next thing we can do is teach your dog to lie on his side, either just for care and grooming or as a bang, play dead. If you haven't taught your dog to roll over or if you're still struggling, do check out my video up here on how to teach your dog to roll over. Because I like to teach roll over before I teach the side or the dead behavior. That way I'm not reinforcing my dog to go halfway because then he finds it a little more challenging to go all the way in his roll over. So I do roll over first. Once that's nice and solid, then I can do my side behavior. You've already probably seen a lot of my grooming videos with Dexter and how I have him do a down position and roll him over on his side and trim his belly, brush his belly, do his feet, do his tail, all those things. So going on your side isn't only a fun trick, but it's great for regular care of our dogs. We also do it when we go to the vet. So a lot of times the vet will want to check out his belly and, and things like that. It's just another polite way that I can manipulate Dexter and he enjoys it. He's not struggling for it. If you can see Dexter right now, do you see how he's kind of got froggy legs? So he's kind of spread them out like that. If I want him to go on his side, I actually need to work on getting him on his hip versus his froggy legs. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to reposition him. If I want Dexter to take this hip and have it go under, then I'm gonna take his head and smell the opposite hip's butt. So I'm gonna take the food lure to his nose and slowly lure like I'm gonna have him sniff his butt. So did you see how he rocked that hip? That's what we wanna do. We want his body to do it comfortably. So it's not forceful. We don't wanna force our dogs into any positions, especially things with their legs. So let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to stand him up. I'll have him do his down position. And to get him to fully hip rock, I'm going to smell that opposite butt. So you see how he rocks it? Let's do it one more time. So here's the foot spread out. If I want him to rock it, I'll smell the other butt. You see him rock it? When you're doing this with your dog, you're going to go step by step slowly. So I tend to have a handful of treats and then once they're gone, we're done. So lure to that side. Stay. 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 Okay. And then okay to get up. Once your dog's doing the behavior easily and you see what you want, then you can add your cue. So if you want that behavior to be side or over or play dead or bang, you're going to add your cue before your lure and eventually you're going to fade your lures. So he's never done it with anything like that before. So I'm going to show you how to start that. So if I want this to be the cue for doing that behavior, I'm going to go this and then lure him down and stay. Okay, all right. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna add my new cue right before the lure. So this and then the gesture. Okay. Let's check in on some of my students' dogs and see how they're doing on their play dead. So we're gonna lure to that down. Again, don't say that down. And we're going to take this nose and smell that butt. And you see how by luring that nose to that butt, that moves that body over that way. This is also helping because doing it multiple times starts to condition and get her body used to the performance. Ready? And usually this is the first step. So we're going to lure to the down. And then we're going to do that hip rock. And then we're going to reward that. Instead of just thinking of pushing and keep getting those legs over, I do, in the beginning stages, really like the dogs 
to be able to continue, continually do that gesture so the body gets to be able to do it much quicker. So now I want to start getting that body into that gesture. So we're going to come back over here. Yes. 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 And then I want to finish it. Yes. By giving her a release. Release is okay. She's all done. So hopefully you found this video of teaching Dexter how to play dead helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can hit the bell icon for notification of our upcoming videos. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my Patreon page. The link is below. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay.